Yo, what's up everyone? Project Moto here. Um, today, I don't know what video we're on now, five, six, seven, not sure, so I'm not going to say. But we're going to go out for a ride on the Desert X, the Husqvarna and the Multistrada V4 today. If you've not seen what all the other videos are about, check them out from part one. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with the video. Right, so we're just going out a little bit of off-road now. Um, Alan's on the Husqvarna 701. I'm on the Desert X, uh, we're not going too mad. Gonna see what this is like, because he said it's a little bit gravelly. He said it's hard to walk up sometimes, so we'll see. If it's too much, we won't go on it. I don't know if I'm really strong enough if I drop the Desert X. <laughs> don't really want to drop it, but it's off-road, so you never know. Whoa, big lorry. Right, we're turning left here somewhere, I think. Let's have a look. And maybe I should be in an off-road rally kind of mode. Um, so it's nice down these sort of trails. So we're going up the mountain. Stand up a little bit. It's a little bit gravelly around here, so... And a little bit dusty. See, that's the good thing with the Desert X. You can take it places like this. You wouldn't really want to be riding the um, Multistrada around here. Well, I wouldn't. There's lots of rocks around here, but really the Desert X is doing fine. Look at this place. Give yourself a little bit of balance around here. I'll let him get away in the dust a little bit. Suspension's nice and soft for this. Um, man, look, St. Tropez is where you got to be. We've had all that road yesterday, what was awesome. Again, imagine just getting up here and doing this every morning. On a GoPro, you can't really see how steep this is, but it's steep. So yeah, we've had great time on the roads. We're going out this afternoon. We're just coming up the top of this hill to see what's what. Because some of this is quite steep, like we've literally come from right down there already. So yeah, the Desert X off-road. Well, what can I say? It does what it's supposed to do. I wonder really what Alan and Paul are going to think because like, we've been riding the 996, we've been riding uh, the Multistrada. I'm going to have a go at the Husqvarna today. Um, We've had all sorts of road, but really, the one bike that's done fine on all of it has been this so far. We are up high now. I think we're going up into the clouds. Look at this. Yeah, fine. How was that, all right? Yeah, it's loose. Look how high up we've just got in that time. Uh, we're up in the cloud base. We're up in the clouds already. I mean, considering we were sort of that level yeah. about two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I actually had it in sport. So we're changing it into the enduro or the rally. Yeah, so maybe something like uh, enduro. It's in enduro now, so it should be a little bit better. Well, we'll see. If it's no good, put it in sport. See how different this feels. That's going to probably feel a lot different to this. The husk is definitely higher. Alright, so now... So the rear brake lever is a little higher. There's some big old rocks around. It's 
nice and smooth though, the Husqvarna. Yeah, I mean, they're so good, the Desert X. To have a bike that can go down the roads we went down yesterday, and then the fact that we can now today take it kind of off-road here, that's crazy. I imagine Alan's going to probably think, oh yeah, I want one of these. Like the Husky is good. It feels nice. Actually, I probably feel for this again, a little bit more comfy for the Husky on this sort of road. Because it feels a little bit more like a motocross bike, you know. Alright, so that was a little quick blast of that off-road. Sport, and then press just enter, that's it, it's back in sport. And this one, I press that, yeah? In these sort of bikes down here, you can one minute be going up there, the next minute, you're coming down here. Yeah, the front feels really nice on this Husqvarna. So all we wanted to do was just have ride this up the mountain. It got up the mountain fine. Now we're going to go out for a ride down the coast. Paul's probably going to take the uh, Multistrada again, I guess. Oh, it's great round these roads. Well, that was a good little trip. We tested it off-road, the Desert X. It worked fine. Now, we're gonna get Paul, and we're gonna go out for a little ride. Man, I'd love to live around here. Yeah, ah, oh, that's so good. Yeah. Now we're gonna go out for a ride. We're gonna go down the, the road of death. On my birthday. Let's do this. We're just gonna grab a tar. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna have some right now. No, I don't need sugar. Shall I have coffee? I've got two tea bags here, yeah. Oh, not two tea. You're gonna have to have two cups of tea. Yeah, so you've got your late. That's still switched on, that coffee. That kettle's going mental. Angry French kettle. Should we have a cookie? Yeah, I'm having cookies. What, what's in that one? Oh, what's in this one? I'll tell you what's in this one. Look at these things. Mm, they, sm they smell fruity. You're yeah. gonna try one now? Yeah, yeah. They're, They're like a little tart thing. There, let's put them in there. Look at them. Yeah. Take your, um, I can't tell what these are called because I don't know what they're called. Smells a, smells a bit pastry tarty. Uh, Let me see. I hope these were our ones. They're yeah, the dog's food. Oh. <laughs> mm. Nice. Quite nice. Right, I'm going. Nuts. Do you like nuts? Particularly fond of my own. <laughs> you didn't have many of them things though last night, did you? Them little picky things. The Japanese food. Oh, that was lovely. It was like sweet or spicy, oh, sweet didn't get tasting. A chance. <laughs> it was like a sweet tasting. Uh, you kept them over the other side. <laughs> like a sweet, a sweet tasting sugar puff. Let's let's have our team go out. We're gonna head towards Santa Fe, and then we're gonna turn west and follow the coast. We just follow you, yeah. Yeah, look, my feet. I can't touch the floor. Right. So now we're going out for a ride. Right, so I'm on the Husqvarna, Paul's on the V4, Alan's on the Desert X. To be honest, I could probably ride the 996 today again. So the Husqvarna was fine off-road. Now we're gonna go down some of these actual roads again. I'm not really sure the engine's gonna be enough, but we'll see, I might be surprised. It's got a quick shifter on it, which is nice. Oh, it's nice in this village. I think this is where we're coming for Santa Eat, as it is my birthday. Right. So we're going down the road of death. The bikes are a little bit dusty now, apart from Paul's, because he's not been off-road. But really, yesterday, even we done that video, and sorry for what I just kept saying was, this is amazing, this is amazing, because it was. We rode down all different roads, but all of them twisty, but all at a different kind of speed yeah the first part the desert x for me was definitely the best maybe this would have been the best but i didn't ride it the 996 for me for the second half was brilliant i still actually i don't know if i regret not riding it now it was the most juicy out of them all so if you think oh i've got a multi-strada v4 and that's juicy the 996 we've done a ta couple of tanks on that i know it's got a smaller tank but The 
look at this, it's beautiful. Feels so cool. Oh well, it, what it was this width. It's no longer the road of death. It's the road of, it's the road of slight injury. <laughs> I feel like I should be like James Bond being chased down these roads. Look, you can see where you're going. The road's down there. We're going to switch back here. Look at this little thing. Yeah, this car's come down here pretty quick though. Let's follow Paul for a bit. This is where it's going to get a little bit harder on the Husky, I think. These faster, big roads. I mean, we've been riding for a couple of days now. I think on an English road, you probably can't even get five minutes of just having a road where you want to like, you know, go at a pace. Look at these trees. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's pretty much the same. Well, the Husqvarna and the Desert X are pretty much the same, really. We weren't racing, but you know, when you turn and look at someone, you're racing. See Paul there, the headlights of the Multistrada in the mirror, look so cool. Let's see, look at this, look at the Mediterranean down there man. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Look at that. This place is called uh, La Rayol. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Check in at Frinton. Yeah. The Essex Riviera. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. It looks so nice. You happy enough on the hospital still? Yeah. <laughs> lovely. It's kind of better on these bends when it's rolling off the throttle and on the brakes than kind of fast acceleration round the fast bends, you know? That's only when the front gets a little bit wishy-washy. Oh, it's so cool down here, look. Oh, it's so cool. Happy birthday to me. Been wicked. I can see why Alan's moved here. I can see why he loves it here so much. I mean, whether you're in a nice car or bike, it's a pleasure driving around. Everyone's driving at a reasonable speed. If you need to get your hair cut anywhere, there's loads of hairdressers everywhere, which obviously I don't need to. Oh man. I feel a bit overdressed for the beach though. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's nice and hot down here, really. It's nice and warm. You could get tanned. And apart from that, I mean leathers. Still, they're nice and warm. We could do this in England. We could go down to South End Beach. When you're down the beach, you don't realise you're catching the sun. <laughs> if I sat in here, I would, yeah. I'll have to get my suntan chart out and see. <laughs> Let's get back on the bikes and see. Uh... Yeah, because this is getting boring. So that I've got to get undressed and get in the sea. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to have a word with that fella. I keep getting undressed on my veranda. <laughs> in the morning, open my window and there he is. All right. 
So that was down at the beach. Oh, so nice. Shame I didn't go in swimming, but so nice. The problem with riding down here in Central Pay is that now I've got to go back and ride in England. Oh man. I can't believe it's my birthday. We've been riding for a few days in Central Pay. Alan and Caroline have been the most amazing host, even giving us this opportunity to ride around here, you know, and ride all these lovely bikes. We've got sand in my boots, wet toes from the sea, perfect. Tomorrow maybe I think me and Paul are just going to go out for a ride. Um, hopefully we know our way around. I'll have to just try and remember when we leave. I can't remember already, but... It's mainly because it's your first go on all these roads, you're not really taking much notice of where you're going, what you're doing. But I'm sure we'll find a way. The husky just falls around these bends. You don't even have to try. That's what I mean, even while you're driving along here, we're not going mega fast, we're going at a nice pace. But so are the builders. Let's get around them. Have a little go down here. This Husqvarna is wicked. Wicked. Oh, that Husqvarna's brilliant around them twisty roads. I think I'm going to have to move back to France, you know. All them years I lived there thinking I want a bike down here. Could never really afford a bike. Uh, mainly because we was doing other things. But yeah, man. It's been epic. Ah, oh, what a wicked road. For the Husqvarna anyway. I'm sure Paul's working hard on the V4. I don't know if I'd want to cycle up this road. Look at this place. Well, this is nice. Yeah. I saw him go off, and I thought, if he came out the other end and he had, like, onions on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Something like, yeah. <laughs> well, let's have a look down here, then. It's a nice little village, isn't it? Lovely. Little restaurants. Look at this place, yeah. I'm a little bit peckish. Well, you ain't had breakfast or lunch here, have you? Smells nice, doesn't it? Should we have a meal and then go back? Yeah, and just say to Alan, sorry, we was a little bit peckish. Sorry, we're out of hours, but... Mmm. Had enough of this walking. Yeah, it's just too far for us. <laughs> oh, right. So we're higher up. So we was right over there. I'm guessing we was the other side of them rocks over there. You wanted a map? They have a lot of these things at high points in France. Yeah, yeah lucky people, man. Now I'm hungry, I've stopped. Yeah. And you spoke about eating. That didn't take long to get up this side, did it? No. It's quite steep. It's quite warm to be walking around in our jackets and that, isn't it? We look like tourists. Yeah. Everyone else is walking around, like shorts, t-shirt, waiters. That looks like a nice restaurant, doesn't it? They eat. Don't look, don't look. People trying each other's food. Oh, I'm starving. Don't mix up with all the bikes. We we did struggle past the restaurants though, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> they was like, oh my god, they smell lovely. All people sitting down there eating. <laughs> that was this little village, beautiful. Now we'll go Daniel. It's crazy how good some of these places are. Wicked.
wicked. Oh man. Look at these little switchback bits. So good. Look at this bit. This is the Laguna Seca bit. I could just ride up and down that bit all day long. I'll just sit here and wait for these boys. Here they come. This is my favourite road down here. It don't matter whether I was on the 996 or this. It's so cool. Right, these are roads that you've never ridden down before. But everything's so good on them. I just love all these roads. It don't matter what type of road you want, it's got it. Apart from just straight ones. Well, actually, saying that, you just get on the motorway and they're straight roads. Man, we could have had probably three better bikes for the day. Maybe a Pikes Peak, but look at this. Look. This is going to be harder work for Paul on the V4, I guess. Then me and Alan, and I've probably got the easiest bike to do it on. This is not even trying, look. Paul's obviously probably concentrating, it'll probably be asleep. It'll get in and fall down, I think. He's not really eating today either, which, that's a big thing. The Husky just wants to go though, look. It's so easy to break hard into bends on the Husky. Paul's on the big old V4, but it's still doing it. It's still doing it. These are twisties now. Oh, Paul's doing all right, I tell ya. Look at this place, man. Liam, I don't know if you're watching this. I guess you are. You'd hate it, mate. <laughs> uh, Nick, I'm glad you're not come on these bikes because they are a little tall for you. He don't mind. And if you had your hypermotor down here, it'd be crazy. And this is my birthday. <laughs> Amazing day. Paul's only riding like this because he wants to get home and have something to eat. It just goes to show really how good that Multistrada V4 is, how good that Desert X is, and how good this Husqvarna is. Man, it's so good. You can turn it you can just turn it so quick. On the brakes, it feels better on the brakes into a bend than while you're accelerating out. What a ride. What a day. What two days we've had. I just had the best time, you know? And all this has come about because that man up front there, Alan, you see, just one little bit of our videos. Well, he watches all the other videos but I just gave him an idea about us coming down here and 
man, it has been the best. You know, even if you've got one of these something like a Husqvarna and your friends are going, oh, I'm going touring on my Multistrada and my GS and you're thinking, I can't go. Well, look, you ain't going to have as much fun going down there on the motorway. Yeah, and they may have a 300 mile range fuel tank. But down here, you're going to leave them for dead. Coming back into the village now. One last little blast. Again, for that sort of road, I don't know if there's a better bike. The Monster would be awesome. But something like this, yeah, probably the Hyper Motard. All you need if you live down here is a garage full of these bikes. If you come down to the shop, Paul is going to be the person to talk to you about what the Multistrada V4 can do. He's had two days on that. <laughs> he probably loves it. I know so far every bike I've ridden, I've absolutely loved. Well, so that was another awesome day's riding in the south of France. Um, man, these roads, they just don't get any better than this, do they? There possibly is, but the fact that we can just ride around for like 100 miles and just bend after bend after bend on some great bikes. Once again, today riding the Husqvarna, that was just epic, man. It just done everything that I wanted it to do, really. Ran the tight and twisty bits, it was like just awesome. But as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes, then maybe think about it in that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. So what did you think today? Yeah, I didn't like it at all. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> the Desert X. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's full of flaws, that bike. I just I just don't know where to start. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. I think today I chose the right bike again. You chose the right bike again. You're good at that. Yeah. That was brilliant, Ask of Arna. I think people that think, oh, all my friends are going touring and they've got something like that, I can't go touring. Okay, the drive down is a long drive on something like that. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do it. You'd wrap all your fillings out, But you? once you're here, you know, because that, that last bit then, when it's twisty, I could see you's like, you know, braking, and especially on the V4. I was trying not to brake. That, I could have literally, probably at any bit, just gone, let brake off, let it on, go past any at any time. That's not just because we're slow. No, we was going at a good speed down there, weren't we? The V4 is good if you don't come on and off the throttle and use the brakes and everything. If you keep it as smooth as you can, it's fine. But some of the corners tightened really quick. Oh, the only way that would better it, if you put a 17 inch front wheel on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Called it a Pikes Peak. They so. should do that, you know. Yeah. And I think that's a good idea. Are you aching at all? No, I'm not aching at We all. were just saying that we are aching, a, aching bit, a bit. But then we are quite a lot older than you, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. You're I, I did, up, I, did I, I caught up. Just remind me, how old are you today? Today, 48, yeah. I remember being 48. Do you remember that? <laughs> you can just about barely remember yesterday's ride. Right. 58. <laughs> how many bends do you think we've been around? <laughs> in two days well this is it it has been continuous isn't it continuous bend i've never been around so many bends <laughs> I was dizzy, so in two yeah. days we've yeah. done 200 miles of bends i've never seen lorries go around bends so quickly no yeah, Did you see those mean. two white vans, yeah, two white van white van 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 when we were on our way back <laughs> when we picked them up i thought we'll get past them and then the front one started i thought this guy knows where he's going we'll they're see. eager to get to work here isn't they <laughs> or get home, get home. <laughs> yeah <laughs>